Hey there, you're watching Amitha Verma. Today we are talking everything mirrors, from farmhouse mirrors, French country, antiques, and so much more. One of the biggest decorating fights I ever got into with my husband, Bobby and Neil, he has two first names, Bobby Neil, was this beautiful antique mirror that I wanted to bring into our home. We were starting out in the home that we live in and it was kind of a big stretch for our budget, but I knew for the reasons I'm gonna share with you today, this was something I could not pass up. In the end, he relented and when people come over, he will tell them, come over here and look at this beautiful antique mirror that I found. <laughs> ha, I'll let him have that one. So there are many reasons why I love using this type of piece in my decor and decorating and first and foremost, a beautiful statement mirror adds a lot of style and a lot of design without a lot of busyness. The second thing I love about mirrors is they take a small space and make them feel much bigger. So if you're working in a small room or a narrow room, this is a great way to make that space feel larger. The third thing I love about antique farmhouse and French country mirrors is they allow you to break the rules. For myself, I love really ornate pieces, highly carved and very beautiful, almost goopy sorts of decor and decoration. I can't really live with a lot of that all over my home and my living space, but I love looking at it in one put together mirror and that just satisfies my design soul. You might be looking for that same representation of yourself in art, which is really hard to find, but you can easily find a quirky or beautiful or stylish mirror that's gonna capture the essence of you and give you all of those other benefits of a beautiful statement mirror. Whenever people come to my shop, they often ask me, what are these different types of mirrors called? The old mirrors, the antique mirrors, even the new farmhouse style mirrors that we carry. And there's a huge range from beautiful old antique Trumeau mirrors to gilt mirrors and Louis Philippe mirrors, mirrors made out of old shutters. Before we jump into that, I wanted to share with you a few particular types of mirrors to look for that will answer that question and some key areas where you can use, showcase, and enjoy these beautiful mirrors. If you've got a blank wall, I would highly recommend you go for a huge statement mirror. That is the perfect spot to add a Trumeau style mirror, which originally came from France. They designed these mirrors to look as if they were a window. So they are big, huge pieces of glass and mirror and reflection and add so much beauty into a home. Whenever I'm looking to create a statement wall and replace a piece of furniture, I love using a floor mirror to really add drama and height and major style into that space. There's something about a floor mirror that just takes the place of several pieces of furniture, art, clutter, removes all of those things and really creates a wow impact. Whenever I'm working on a space that needs something really special, such as behind a sofa, behind a buffet, or maybe down a long hallway, or even in a little vestibule, I look for what I call a unique style mirror. Something that's really unusual and just makes you do a, a double take you can see that here with something different from your typical round or rectangle shape mirror. There is not a design project that I do where you won't find a chippy or distressed mirror. Typically it might be in a powder bathroom or a hallway mirror, but that beautiful chippy distressed patina is what helps create a very livable, inviting, cozy feeling into your home. Whenever I'm thrifting or at a flea market or antiquing, I love looking for old frames and then just giving them a quick little brush over with Amitha Verma chalk finish paint to create a easy DIY distressed chippy frame that I can then turn into a mirror for some spot in my home or design project that I'm working on. And last but not least, I love to look for something gold. 
It's like that old wedding adage where you want something borrowed and something blue. Adding a little bit of gold can add fancy charm to even the most rustic spaces. And you can do this easily by adding a classic Louis Philippe or a highly gilt finish, whether it's brand new looking or worn down to the last bit of gold, it all adds the perfect patina to your home. I love mirrors for the beauty of the mirror, the frame, the carvings, the colors. But the great thing about them is they're actually a highly functioning piece of home decor. You can always use one to check yourself out on your way out or when you're coming back home and make sure you're looking good. I've shared a lot of beautiful ideas with you today, so leave a comment and tell me which one is your favorite type of mirror and which one are you excited to add into your own home. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to our channel. And then when you're done, head over to our blog where you can check out lots of great design tips and sign up to receive our design newsletter. Till the next time we meet, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. Gorgeous elements. I'm like going way off the track. What did I say in the beginning? I've shared a lot of beautiful ideas with you today. Today. Oh my gosh. Did you just bump into that? Uh, yes. Okay, let me make it better. Okay. What about me? Oh yeah, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you. Are you okay? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're good. Okay, go. Go. I gotta go work on my stuff.